What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Jasmine Lee for those of you who don't know me. And today I'm going to be showing you how to laminate your brows. This kit I got off Amazon actually came with saran wrap so that was super convenient. I actually already laminated one brow off camera. If you follow me on Instagram at more in the martian and you probably saw that night. This is the brow that's laminated so I don't know if you can even tell anymore but the brow on the right, my right, is a lot more like silky and smooth looking and feeling. Um, it's very straight. But yeah, my brows lay kind of funny anyway. So like, I don't know girl. I don't know if I'm going to keep this up. I don't know how often you're supposed to lam re-laminate. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it's like a perm on your head where like every two to three weeks or every other month, you know. I don't know how often you're supposed to do this. So... If you're doing this with me, make sure that you have your Siri on call for the timer. Overall, I would say this takes about 10 to 15 minutes per brow. Luckily, everything in this package is numbered. So you have the brow glue that kind of lays your brows in place. Then you have the cleanser, which you want to use first, of course, to clean your brows. You have the perm solution, which you want to put on. Well, actually, it's going to be one then two, three is the perm, and then four, uh, four here is going to be your fixation, which like lays your brows in place. And then lastly, you have your nutrition um, to basically nourish your brows. I'm going to use this and a product from one of my friends. And then you also have br brow brushes, um, which help you lay your brows how you want. They look like little combs in the shape of a Y. So let me show you those real quick. So this is what the brow brush looks like on this part of the Y. You see some like tiny, tiny little teeth. So that's what I'm gonna use today. And then on the back of the box, you have directions. I follow the directions step by step. And since I've done this already um, off camera, I kinda know what to do. So first I'm taking this brow lift glue and I am going to place this in my brow hairs. And don't be afraid to be like super generous. They give you a lot of product obviously so you can reuse this more than once if you need to oh yeah and i forgot to tell you guys my brows were already cleaned since i washed my face this morning and i took like an alcohol pad and just went over them so that is part is done and i don't know if you guys can ever really tell but i do have like a very slight unibrow i have hairs here i'm trying to decide if i should perm them or not because it just seems like it would be a little bit weird looking but just for the sake of the video i can always cut them off if i don't like them we will see how this comes out now that i have the brow glue on instead of using the Y brush well i'll, sh I'll use it so you guys can kind of see all it does is comb your brows up. While I appreciate this tool, I'm just gonna use a spoolie because it's easier for me and faster. So now that I put the brow glue on, I'm gonna take the cling wrap and I'm gonna leave this on for three minutes. Hey Siri. Uh huh? Set a timer for three minutes. Okay, three minutes and counting. We'll be back. So three minutes has passed. I'm going to go ahead and take this saran wrap off my brow. And as you can see, they're like literally stuck in place and not going to move. So next, I am going to take the perm solution here. This is what the solution looks like inside. It's just a white liquid. And I'm just going to be really generous and spread this out everywhere. Including the middle. And for the brush I'm using, this is a Morphe M443 brush. It doesn't harm the brush or mess it up at all. And even if it did, it's a cheap brush, so I don't mind. Just like a little liner brush that I'm using to apply the product. Because unfortunately, they don't have like a brush um, attached to the handle. So I like to get the product on my brow before I start smoothing stuff out. And again, you can be generous with this because they give you enough to where you can use it um, more than once if you need to. Taking a spoolie again, I'm gonna go ahead and brush this through my brows. Now that I've done that, 
Y'all know the drill. Hey Siri. Mm -hmm. Set a timer for three minutes. Okay, three minutes and counting. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna let the perm sit and I'll be right back. All right, so it's been three minutes and the perm is now on there. So I can go ahead and take that off. And the directions tell you to basically wipe off the solution with the number one cleanser here. But when I did it on this brow, the cleanser really wasn't doing a good job of removing things, mostly because of the glue. That glue was like really strong. It's like it feels like eyelash glue, honestly. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take an alcohol pad and clean my brows off with that instead. You can also use a makeup wipe if you have one. You just don't want to use water, whatever you do. Because that might mess the chemical aspect up. So, I think I really should be wiping them upwards. but And then you probably want to wipe against the grain as well. Whew. Okay, maybe alcohol is not the best idea. <laughs> stings a little bit so what i'll do is i will also use a makeup wipe because this will be cleansing and soothing Whew, it's much better all right so for the like last step if you will i'm gonna be using the fixation solution and i think this step is supposed to basically set your brows in whatever shape that you desire so first you want to Make sure you get, you know, a shape that you like. For me, I don't really have a shape that I prefer my brows to have because they're pretty well laid out. Um, I just want them to like kind of lay up more because I like the bushy look that they give. So that is how I'm going to apply my solution. And I'm still going to use the same brush from the last step. It has been cleaned in between. And again, that is the Morphe M443 liner brush. Going back into the solution. And I am just doing the same thing I did before. So I did get it on the other brow that's already done. But it's cool. No harm done. Um, again, going to take some more saran wrap and leave it on for three minutes. You guys already know the drill. The fixation has been on my brows for three minutes and so now I am going to wipe it out of my brows. Alright guys, so this is how my brows are looking. Super duper straight. It's weird because I actually like my brows like this. I know it probably looks kind of funny, but I like it. So yeah. What I'm gonna do now is I am gonna use the nutrition stuff that comes with the brow kit and I'm gonna dip my spoolie in it if it'll fit. Yeah, it'll fit. So I'm gonna dip my spoolie in it and just run the spoolie through my brows. And remember, I'm only doing this front part of my brow because I got the solution in there by accident earlier. And to be honest, it's nutrition. Like, your brows could always use extra nutrition. Don't let it get into your eyes, though, because it does drip. I'm going to cover with cling wrap for another three minutes, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I took the wrap off off camera. Um, technically, you're supposed to leave it on for, like, three minutes. But it is just oil that's meant to help put nutrition back in your brows to reduce and minimize any damage of the chemicals. So I did leave it on a bit longer than three minutes, which you are welcome to. And then I'm going to follow up with this Let's Get Bushy Brow Serum. This is by Beauty by Lanisha Looks. I believe this has castor oil, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E in it. And it's just really good for your brows. I also put it in my lashes. So I'm just going to put this through all my brow hairs and actually what i'm gonna do is just rub it in like this so i can make sure it gets in really good going against the grain a little bit all right guys so i am all done laminating my brows um I don't know how different they look. I mean, they do look a lot more straight. 
but yeah times like this i wish i had like oscar the grouch type brows maybe without the unibrow but yeah thank y'all for watching and i will be sure to link the kit i have down below because i know most of them do not come with saran wrap so it's really convenient for ones that do bye guys thanks for watching